Hello everybody and welcome to another Weathering Waves Genshin Impact kind of video. Right now, currently, at this very moment, I am doing a 24 plus hour stream. That's also a subathon, right? For the release of Weathering Waves. Now the game isn't out for another 7 hours and 45 minutes or so because it's 3.17 p.m. EST and a game comes out at 10 p.m. EST. We will be playing it the moment that it drops, the moment the servers drop. That's going to be very, very exciting. Come over to the stream, say hi, chill out, uh, play with us, play with me, and um, I'm gonna rec uh, uh, sorry. I'm going to be reacting to Tectone's Hoyo versus Losing It video. I know exactly what this is about due to the fact that Weathering Waves is coming out today. Hoyoverse yesterday decided they would give they would raise the resin cap in ho in hunka oh my god in genshin impact from 160 to 200 now that's still not even the amount that you get in honkai star rail they they truly know how to half ass it every time it is incredible it is incredible Let's get into it. Hey, yo, what up, boys? Not live on stream, but my offline chat's still going coke shaky, so hopefully that excuses the lack of chat for today's video. Hope you guys are excited for coke Weathering shaky. Waves in the morning. Uh, today, we get to point and laugh at Hoyo versus or Genshimex attempt of getting people to hopefully not care about Weathering Waves' launch. This is a blast for me. I've already read all this. We get to go over all of it. I was going to say this for stream tomorrow because right now I should be live on stream or I'm waiting till the morning. I'm going to be streaming all day for Wuthering Waves and I'm, I'm even going to be doing over $10,000 worth of giveaways while I'm live. Uh, now, guys, uh, he's doing what I'm doing, except I don't have $10,000 fucking dollars. So... Uh, uh, really excited. But uh, Genshin might put out a new developer radio and uh, man, is it pathetic. Now, Imp there's some good changes, but... I can't believe I'm so broke. <laughs> Am I right, guys? <laughs> Why are we waiting to do so much of this shit right now, Hoyoverse? Hmm. I wonder. Shaking in our size 12 custom baby seal leather boots, are we? Very interesting. So, we're going to read some of the comments here before we get into this developer's radio, just to kind of wet your <laughs> I love this So, here's Tectone, uh, really f***ed up evil man. I heard about him on Twitter. Wuthering Waves finally got y'all off your asses, huh? Did it really require a studio to release a competing game for you to finally move your asses? They are scared of him. Now drop the Senor Resurrection arc. True, there's Doro being a cute little goober. Mahoya will do anything in their power to get us 99.99% of the way to loadouts without giving us loadouts. Love it. Chat, what year is time? What year in time is it? Dish says, now we're talking. Yes, slay, girl. Yes. So let's read uh, this developer radio here and see what's got people in such a little fuss. Dear Traveler, the latest developer to arrive today will be introducing the optimizations that will be released in 4.7. Now, let me just make sure we're all tracking everything that's coming in 4.7 as Genshin's desperate plea to combat weathering waves. Okay, so we're this. You know what? We'll get into this after because I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit here. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The latest developers we'll going to arrive today. We'll be introducing optimizations that will be released in 4.7 to improve your gaming experience. We've raised multiple caps, updated existing systems. Let's check them out. Starting from version 4.7, the original resin will be increased to 200. Now, yay! Yay! Not even high enough to match Honkai Star Rail. He gained 40. Too bad Honkai Star Rail has 80 more than Genshin. That's crazy. Oh, this was done three years ago to change it from 120 to 160. And now it'll be from 160 to 200. So now you can make five of your little condensed resins and you can get... Hey, maybe in three more years, y'all can reach where Honkai Star Rail is right now. Real excited. And just remember this change is absolutely nothing. If they did not change the resin refresh rate, this does not matter. This does not give you more energy. All it does is give you a bigger bowl to hold set energy. If you are making sure your resin never caps, this does absolutely nothing for you. However, if you're a casual player and you log in once in a blue moon, well, you probably don't care about the update anyways. 
Uh, so let's continue down here real quick. Increased enhancement materials and food cap. Inventory. When version 4.6 was updated, yep. did you notice that the devs increased the inventory limit for weapon enhancement materials from 9,999 to 99,999? Wow. Likewise, That's the so limits cool. for forging ores, character EXP materials, and artifact enhancement materials will also be increased in the new version. The limit for ingredients will be increased from 2,000 to 9,999. To prevent situation, replace and destroy excess materials that pertain to large quantity, which means, oh my God, you get to hold more mint. Oh, man, Mondstadt's mint berries aren't going to be safe for much longer. Because now you'll be able to carry 8,000 more mint. Oh, oh, my God. I can't believe it. There are certain content creators who are coming in their little pants. Oh, my God, more mint. Here's a great change. Friends cap from 50 to 100. This pretty much only... Yeah, bro, Gunch players don't have friends. Only affect streamers. Okay, because the majority of players do not have a hundred fucking friends to add. Really ain't that big a deal. Gonna keep it a buck. Yeah. Recommended stats functions for artifact custom configurations. Since the fast equip artifacts feature was launched, the developers have been paying close attention to your feedback and experience to optimize this function accordingly. To help you quickly and conveniently assemble a set of artifacts, starting from version 4.7, the recommended stats feature will be added to fast equip custom configuration. This feature will automatically fill in recommended sets and attributes based on data from actors, players in the game. So here's a better question. Why the fuck do you got to get so close to making artifact loadouts without just fucking making artifact loadouts? Just let Wild. players make artifact sets that they can easily swap from character to character. Now, to be fair, I don't have anything to say about this. In Honkai Star Rail, we do not have custom loadouts yet. It really ain't that deep. I think we'll get it before Genshin, though. You know, I, I think we will. And that's all for this developer's discussion. So I want to go wow. ahead and address the deniers that Hoyoverse is not having a knee-jerk reaction to Wuthering Ways. Let's get this right. 4.7, Genshin will be attempting to release its own version of Endgame. I'm going to give you the old spoiler. It's going to suck ass. Probably. All it's going to be is the pre-existing Spiral Abyss. But now instead of using any character you want, now you can only use limited characters. Wowie zowie. You have a restriction on who you can use. Wow, very pog. How innovative. Sounds fucking shite. Unless they change something, we'll see. And they most likely won't, because let's, come on, let's catch an impact here. They change the resin cap. Wow. They once again blunder another artifact loadout, and they let you have more friends. It's just a slap in the face. Uh, let me explain to you. Well, you can have more mint. Bro, forgot that you can have more mint. Greatest thing to happen to I can't believe Let's you would ever forget it that. Flops. It still exposes that Ridiculous. Hoyoverse is fully aware of what players want, but they're only willing to do so when there's something in it for themselves. Every one of these changes should have happened years ago, but they don't do it because they don't have a reason. So when you come to my channel, when you yell at me on Twitter, when you tell me, no, Tectone, you're wrong, we don't need these things. No, Tectone, Hoyoverse, they're listening. No, they're not. Hoyoverse only listens when there's something for them to receive in return. They don't care about you. They don't care about making the game the best it possibly can. Their only, their only operation is when they operate out of <laughs> fear. Highly recommend anybody watching this video. Well, let's just say the Genshin Impact team. Because, I, I mean, I know that Tectone agrees that Honkai Star Rail is very, very good. The devs have done an amazing job with that game. Yeah, who's on the fence for playing Wuthering Waves. To play it, you just download it. Keep it open. You don't even have to touch it. Let them see those active player numbers on Wuthering Waves. Just leave the damn game on. Because Hoyoverse wants this game gone. They want this game fucking dead. And if it doesn't die, and if it continues to succeed... It's not a good look. They're going to be freaking the fuck out. Investors are going to be screaming. They're going to have knee-jerk reactions. They'll give us better updates, better ingredients, better pizza, better mint. It'll be good. Shit, they might even put a tech tone skin in game. Yippee! Who knows? The only thing I know is, do I have your attention now? Be I need a tech tone welt skin. Where his alt... It's just, you waste time. Because everything that I've been- Just black hole. He just yells black hole in Tectone's voice. 
And it's literally just not Welt anymore. Not the handsome Chad with the glasses. Baldy. I love Tecto. Saying the start of this game is being proven true. I think Tecto looks after good. Day after day like, what are we saying? Day. I don't think he looks bad at all. That's the only way we're going to get change. Wuthering Waves will be that change. Whether you like it or not, this game is scaring the fuck out of Hoyoverse. And I mean scaring the fuck out of Hoyoverse. They're freaking out. Their headquarters <laughs> must be losing their mind. Yeah. But if you have not followed my Twitch stream yet or subscribe to my YouTube, I highly recommend that you do because server... That's right. That's right. Because, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. If you have not followed uh, my, my Twitch, sub to my Twitch, sub to my YouTube, followed my Twitter, kissed me passionately what uh then i highly recommend you do so make sure you comment on this video servers are being set on fire we are going to be streaming hard and we are going to make them listen and i'll be real i don't even care maybe you still care to play genshin back i really don't okay but i'm gonna be playing the ah, fuck out of wuthering waves absolutely and maybe if you're a genshin guy maybe it'll benefit you too but it feels good it feels vindicating, and I cannot wait to hear y'all thoughts on this. Peace, boys. Well, my thoughts on this are that he is absolutely right, and that you should also come check out my stream, because like I said in the beginning, if you're not here, thank you for making it to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. If you can, if it's physically possible, go to the description below, click on my Twitch link at uh, twitch.tv forward slash aqueous gotcha because I am streaming right now for 24 plus hours doing a subathon where Weathering Waves will be releasing in six and a half hours from now and I will be playing the shit out of that game, sleeping, waking up, and playing the shit out of the game some more, all on stream. I appreciate you guys watching. Peace. Love you guys.